This fight hits one of SA's best versus one of USA's best. It's Chris Bright versus Gabe Casillas in the EFC lightweight main event. Born and bred in the coastal town of Port Elizabeth, Bright is a natural born fighter. His background is in jiu-jitsu, judo, boxing, and Muay Thai. I kind of made a move into, into judo. Um, and it just seemed a natural progression to go to whatever was more practical, and that, that turned out to be Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And it's really a, it's a half a step from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu into MMA. And I became fairly good at, at Jiu-Jitsu, and it just seemed the obvious choice. Bright is regarded as the best welterweight lightweight fighter in the country and has an unparalleled record to prove it. My strength is, is ending the fight. So if I get an opportunity to close the fight, I almost never miss. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty patient as, as far as the duration of the fight goes. But when, when the guy makes a mistake, the fight's generally over. In the cage tonight, I reckon, I think it's business as usual. Uh, there's a lot of hype because he's an American fighter coming out. He, he'll be a tough opponent. But I fought Brazilians, I fought, I fought a Frenchman. So I've, I've had my share of international fights and I've won all of them. All at heavier weights as well. Um, it's just another fight against a hard opponent. So I'm, I'm not putting it on any kind of pedestal. I'm just going out there to fight. Will Chris Bright live up to his reputation and stand face to face with Gabe Casillas? Gabe the Technician Casillas is a mixed martial artist from Arizona, USA. I got into MMA because uh, I actually started boxing first. I uh, had a pretty extensive boxing or am amateur boxing um, background experience. And um, I have been fighting for a while. I've been fighting since 99. So um, I met someone that did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and then I started from there and then kind of crossed over to um, the MMA world that actually uh, it actually hurts a lot less than than boxing so that's that's why he is a veteran of the International Fight League competing in lightweight and welterweight divisions when I step into the cage uh, it's changed for me over the years uh, now um, my biggest opponent is myself and uh, overcoming you know my own insecurity um, and being able to perform, you know, to my own potential. I mean, I'm my, I'm my own, I'm, I'm my worst critic. My opponents uh, step in the ring. They're, um, they're seeing a long night in front of them. Either, either it's, uh, either they're in for, a, for, a, for a tough fight or a short night. So, <laughs> will Gabe Casillas conquer Chris Bright? It's the best versus the best. Hold on to your seats. This is it. Yeah, we go. Chris Bright, uh, he's got a record of 23 wins, three losses. He fights out of PE submission fighting. He's a PE boy, and he, he's self-taught. Gabe Casillas, all the way from Las Vegas, fights out of one fighting systems. His record, 12 and 9. And let's have a look at the tail of the tape. It's very much an evenly matched lightweight bout between these two fighters, with an advantage going to Gabe Casillas in his height as well as his reach. There's match. one of our lovely goals, one of our wrinkles. Our ref again for the evening is Attila. He himself a very good fighter, Greco-Roman wrestler. And they tap gloves. Gabe running in, yeah. Ooh, getting a knee to the head there. I think he stunned him. I think Chris is a little stunned, grabbing that leg. Listen to this audience getting behind him. This is the fight that they've been waiting for, Clint. Yeah, Chris Bright obviously taking the dominant position there. Um, trying to get on top, working his way into the half guard. He's trying to get into the... Yeah, he's got the half guard. Trying to work his way into a mount. But Gabe's got his leg hooked nicely. I think he's controlling him very nicely. Yeah. You can see Chris very, very calm and collected. Very, very composed on the ground. And breathing. And breathing all the time. He's very he's comfortable. deep breaths. You know, I think the main thing, I mean, what Chris, what I find Chris does is he, he likes to tire his opponents out. He does little things that, that, that really irritates the guy and just takes your breath away that you can't breathe. And he works continuously, which wears you down. Oh, oh. brilliant knee to the stomach there. Nice little explosive knee. Okay, well, he's controlling him with the feet, keeping him away nicely. Okay, loving his ground and pound. Obviously, he's very proficient with the, with the pounding on the ground. He 
You see Gabe driving his head into the yeah, chest of his head down. Oh, nice. Controlling the head there. Controlling the hands. You can see there Chris Bright also controlling the hands nicely, avoiding the pounding, avoiding being hit. A lot of movement. Very busy. Using his legs to keep his hands away, keep him away. Oh, he was putting back first from the stand up onto the ground, but he gave him the back. Chris very comfortable just uh, catching his breath. Gabe obviously having to do most of the work here. He's got to defend himself. Chris using those little heels into the ribs there. Very irritating, very clever. It stops Gabe Casillas from thinking about what he wants to do. All he starts thinking is, I just want to get out of this position. Very comfortable. See, just irritating him. Chris Bright just covering his nose and his mouth. Irritating him, suffocating him so he can't get his breath, which tires the guy out in the long run. Wears you down slowly but surely. Gabe Casillas working really well yeah. I mean, maneuvering around. Got out of the back. Onto a full mount immediately. Chris does this. I don't know how he does it. He goes from, from guard to mount in one easy step. I'm giving him his back again. But I think Chris, is, he's not trying anything too fancy now. I think he's just trying to tie Gabe out. You know, wearing him down slowly but surely. There you can see hammer fist to the side of the head. Elbow. Very nice. Working, still doing a bit of ground and pound. Yeah, we can see Chris going for a bit of a Kimura. Oh, you see Gabe moves right across. Great counter. Flipping over very nicely there. With a reversal. Chris controlling that leg so he can't get up. You know, these two haven't let each other go. They've been tight, tight, tight. Not giving each other an inch. And Chris there on the go. mount again. Back to Sneaky. the mount. That is the most dominant position. And Chris should be, he should have his legs a lot tighter. He should be throwing those hands, elbows, staying down lower. Okay, because he's moving very nicely. He's like a little eel. He gets out of positions very comfortably, very quickly. Chris needs to pound more. He, you know, a lot of groundwork, but he's not pounding enough. Chris Bright neutralizing the arm. There we go, taking the back, taking the back. Oh no, and he moves all the way around, he's got his arm. Gabe Casillas obviously fooled by the fact that he was trying to take his back. And he cranks it and he tips. Gabe was trying to count to the back, and Chris just spun right around to the other side and took his arm into an arm bar. Chris Bright, the PE faithful, must be jumping out of their chairs right now. Chris Bright ecstatic. Let's have a look at the action and replay. Oh, there we go, this is the spinning back fist from Gabe Casillas where he gave his back the first time, and from there everything was downhill. Chris Bright looked like he's going for the back and then all of a sudden spins all the way around. I think Gabe Casillas was trying to counter that and spun too far and then Chris just basically grabbed the arm and cranked it. Tightening up, tension, tension, tension and is he going to tap? And there's the submission. And the winner of this lightweight bout by submission in the first round, Chris Bright.